Star Trek V, The Final Frontier. For the NES. 1989, boys and girls. Here it is. Post. Effect. Set phasers to stun. My yes, Captain. Wait, who am I playing as? Which which crewman is that? Guys, am I Shatner? Am I am I Kirk? All right, I'm noticing a theme between this and the previous game. Am I Scotty? Who the fuck am I? I can't tell. I might be. Kirk. I, I mean, he's a little chunky in the ass, so he might be. He might be Kirk. Sulu is out of energy. Okay, guys, we figured it out. It's Sulu. Sulu has exhausted all physical energy. He's been replenished by Dr. McCoy's medical expertise and is able to continue his assignment. Thanks, McCoy. Maybe, maybe we could just, like, not continue this mission. How about we send a bunch of members of the Enterprise down? Here, let's just... Can we analyze this for a second? Is this really... I mean, when you see this, do you, do you get Sulu vibes? Musculature. Mmm. Yes. I don't. So I can tell you this is the worst of the games I've played today. I would play the other game in the Darth Vader controller over this by far. Because this is just... I got rewind now. Rewind and fast forward have been made available. The Enterprise has okayed me to use the rewind function. All right, all right, we found it. Uh, we're at Mos Eisley now, guys. We did it. We were wandering around the deserts of Tatooine, but now we've finally reached Mos Eisley. The parallels between this and the previous game I just streamed are strong. All right, more buildings, more horses. I'm... I can't do this anymore. This is aggravating me. Captain's Log. It has been two days since Starfleet stopped. I shore leave on Hops and Delta too. The crew is covering up their disappointment well, as we return, once again, to the edge of the neutral zone, which the Romulans have been threatening to cross. Romulan hi Hi. Romulan High. We're okay, we're going to Romulan High School. Oh no, it's one of these. I can't I I can't select uh, Riker. I don't I don't know what the hell I'm doing. I'm I'm sure someone would love this. Engineering, we need to... Let's take life support off. Can we do that? Can we get rid of life support? Alright, we need R Riker. We need Data. We're gonna take Captain Picard. And we're gonna take... Ensign Granquist. Because he, he'll live through this mission. You have my word. You know, we got the, the A-team now, guys. We got Riker. Data, Picard, Grandquist. It is unsafe to beam down here. <laughs> Thanks, Data. <laughs> I love this. Do you have to wait to get to the planet, too? Oh, shit, Romulans. Um, yo, let's beam down. Let's beam down to the Romulans. Mr. Worf. Yo, Mr. Worf, what's up? Set a collision course for the Romulan vessel! Oh my god, look at this! <laughs> look, at this. <laughs> look at this space battle! It's so good! I don't know what's happening! How do you fire phasers? <laughs> I don't know how to do this! I guess I'm, I'll just shoot phasers out of the Enterprise's asshole into the Warbird.
Starfleet had to help because I I, I got the um, Enterprise destroyed, I think. I, I have a hard time believing the Enterprise can't stand up to a fucking Romulan warbird. Maybe I'm just a ma like a massive fucking nerd, but I really don't think that would have been a problem. Your arrogance will be your undoing, Picard. Hey, motherfucker. What are you- what is this shit? Mr. Worf, ready fucking phaser to torpedoes. <laughs> this music is like so, like elevator, like white person, pasty white person music. Like cheese sandwich type shit. I'm like listening to this. S space. The final frontier. This is the voyages of the RP Enterprise. Her nipples, very, very rock solid. Her mission, to boldly go where no lizard has gone before. Oh no. Is this the same fucking game? Oh, come on. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh no. I was trying to escape this. What have I done? It is the same game, just different graphics. Hey, maybe, maybe the combat system will be better. Okay, we're gonna take, this time we're taking, look. <laughs> Ensign Joyce Worley. Yeah, no thanks, we're taking Riker. We're taking Picard. And Worf, of course, because, well, you know what, Worf. Now we'll take, we'll take Data, because Data's, Data's the man. And we'll take with us, of course, Ensign J. Purrier, aka developer of this video game. <laughs> I'm gonna be the main character of the game, J. Purrier. This amazing Star Trek music. Do do do. <laughs> it's like MIDI do's and does. Let me activate this ancient uh, lever here. Remember, this is an ancient world. Do not fire unless you must. <laughs> oh, I hate this game so much. It ruins everything I love about Star Trek. But at least there was no ship battle. Oh no. Oh fuck. It's a little different this time. Oh god, look at- Wow, they actually made it possible! Enemies hailing, I don't know the button to ig ig acknowledge the hail. Look at- oh my god, look at that. The difference between the two game space battles. Absurd. Try to hail you! Our navigation it's this guy. <laughs> Different graphics again. Someone's hailing me. I don't give a shit. Look at those faces, though. Seriously, look at what SNES was able to do for human faces. It's just a big mess of pixels. We're gonna loop back to Star Trek on the Super Nintendo. Star Trek Deep Space Nine, cross Crossroads of Time. Deep Space Nine was not the most popular Star Trek, but it was probably the best, or one of the best, because it, it was very, very story-oriented, very character-driven, really great stories. I love it. I loved it. It was a great show, but it didn't have the same success as Next Gen. It did well, but not quite as well. Uh, this was the point in time during the SNES days where they were focusing on form over function, meaning like really detailed and drawn out jump animations. Is that Jake Sisko? Hi, Dad, I'm waiting for Nog to show up. Fucking fascinating. So, hang on a second. <laughs> is there a game in here? Or is it just exploration to exceedingly jovial music? Exceedingly fun game. Is that Miles O'Brien? Something wrong, O'Brien? Security grid is malfunctioning. Oh, look, he's useful. 
Imagine Deep Space Nine, an episode where Cisco is just jumping around like a mad cunt like this. And no fun was had that day. I'm gonna be Spock, because I don't think you could get a more out of character... ...thing. Tactical, precise, and logical. Yes. First Officer Spock. So yeah, Spock is like... Their numbers the, are overwhelming. The, he, this is not an action series. Um... Is there gonna be some kind of lovemaking? Wait, what? I'm aware of that, Mr. Spock. Oh no, they got Quinto. And, and they got... And they got Chris Pine. Were they not busy? Dramatic angle of chess. I like how there's a tooltip in a Star Trek game to equip grenades. Hey there, Kirk. What are you doing? Oh, we can go through each other? I, I can't choose my favorite, but now I won't have to. I present... Skok. <laughs> sorry, this is- I'm sorry, this is amusing to me. Oh, there's a lobster here. Hello, lobster. I just got the results of those scans. Good work, Ensign. Bum, bum, bum! Brum! Yeah, let's analyze the green chick. ...but the station appears to be in some sort of distress. Hmm. Check off readings. They are operating on emergency power and are struggling to maintain altitude. Oh my god, they got the whole cast? Oh, they got Simon Pegg for this? To our hails. I don't I, I don't like uh, the way their right. lips move. Lieutenant Uhura, any response to our hails? It's very no, unnatural and no, strange. Looks like I'm going. That makes me feel dirty. Never mind, I guess he's not going. Where 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 did he go? Why did he run away so quickly? It says hold X to use turbo lift, but yet they're Guys, what the fuck just happened? <laughs> Where did he go? Oh, he had to take a shit. I got it. God, she's hot down at sick bay. Gotta make a trip down to sick bay. <sighs> the fuck? Is anything less Star Trek than a line of dialogue? God, she's hot down at sick bay. Not a single fuck was given when making this game. All day. All day that crewman is just screaming ab about how he, she's so hot down at sick bay. Well, it can't get worse than that, right? Immediately something goes wrong. Like how Kirk just follows me. Oh, look at that lens flare, huh? Oh, that's intense. the captain of this station? This way, you must hurry. <laughs> well, damn it! At least it was a quick Is death. The fun you were afraid you were going to miss, Captain. Right. Oh God, I wonder if if Quinto and Pine know how bad this game was. Like, I wonder if they're aware. Poor Chris Pine. Nah, he's fine. Why am I saying poor Chris Pine? That dude is rich. He doesn't give a shit. He probably made a couple couple grand from this. I swear to God, this is. The exact opposite of everything I've ever known Star Trek to be. Spock parkouring through, like, off ledges. How did he get here? How did he get here? He teleported. No other way around, Spock. No other way around, Skok. And then just step right into the scanner. Again, it keeps giving me, like, the wrong... Okay, it's C. <laughs> I can't get so tired of that. That is amazing. Look how big he is. <laughs> oh, God. God. 
That's a great angle. That's a great angle. <laughs> He's so small. Spock is so small. Let me live! <laughs> the ragdoll. The ragdoll effect. Plus. <laughs> How did he go so high? I'm unplugging the controller. Imagine, like, you're excited to voice act for your first video game. I believe it was yours, sir. And then... Right. And then this happens. A rip-off Mass Effect game. With glitches and bad controls. Good job, Kirk. I don't know if Kirk and Spock are gonna be okay in the long term. You know, like, I, I'm pretty sure, but well, he just, yeah, he, I'm, okay. All right, no, he just teleported in there, slid on over. I'm wondering what the long-term effects of being exposed to fire and radiation is. Their DNA is being scrambled, <laughs> yes. Yeah, their DNA is being fucking scrambled and rearranged. By the end of this mission, they're gonna be lizards. Kirk doesn't need to get to, he's fucking Captain Kirk. He doesn't need to do shit if he doesn't want to. Yeah, Star Trek. Running away from explosions at maximum velocity. I... I think you need to see for yourself. Victor, Victor! Victor! I can make them do fun things if I run around in circles. Where are they going so- <laughs> What are they doing? Stop! You fucking idiot, what are you doing? In order to speed up this process, we created a device called the Helios machine. Your station was to harness the energy from the binary stars to power the Helios machine located on New Vulcan. Precisely. Two days ago, and for some unknown reason, the power to our station was shut off. Without power, our station could not withstand the gravitational pull of the stars. What moron would shut down the machine if they knew this would happen? That moron would be Sirach. Never heard of him. Sirach is Tamar's father, and a great mentor to myself and the Vulcan people. Uh, sorry? Why would Sirach shut down power to your station? He must have been aware that doing so would be catastrophic for you and your crew. Unfortunately, the Helios machine may have caused an anomaly. An anomaly? This just keeps getting better. We need to get to the bridge. Welcome to the two-headed giant that is Skok. What, what is she doing? She's, um... Well, she's thrusting. She is thrusting her pelvis. How much more thrust are we gonna- okay. 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 I think I glitched Kirk. This way. I would advise that you attack the enemy now, sir. What enemy? There's no enemy here. What kind of contextual speech is that? I'm on the Enterprise. There's no enemies here. Okay, watch, watch. No Kirk, right? No Kirk? We're gonna get in the elevator and we're gonna press the button. <laughs> he's, he's getting here a little bit. <laughs> Captain, I recommend attacking the enemy. Again, she's not the enemy, Spock. What the fuck are you talking about? Pretty quiet out here. What was that, Tamar? What were you saying about Tamar? She's the enemy, Kirk, you idiot. <laughs> I should run away, team. <laughs> One of the guys just does this. For some reason, the highest security <laughs> just, protocol just has been enabled constantly. Can we hack it? Possibly, but you will have to work <laughs> Kirk is so far away, he has to communicate by radio. Look at this, look at this. <laughs> look, how, look how far away I can attach to one of these things from. I'm sorry, was you working on that? That guy wasn't right in the head. I am relieved we were able to spare that individual's life. Me too, let's keep it that way. <laughs> what the fuck is this movement? <laughs> I see fish and, and lizards and tentacles. Uh, not as glitchy immediately off the bat as I thought it would be. I heard all these tales of how broken this game was, and it was pretty bad, but not that bad. So, I'll show you what's possible. <laughs> oh. 
<laughs> okay. I helped you, fuck. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Look at this. Look at this. This is this is amazing. <laughs> I can crawl out of the fire. I can put you back in it. <laughs> Watch Kirk's arm. <laughs> I want that to happen so bad. I just wanted to see that. <laughs> oh my god. We'll skip a little bit. The, the arm thing is amazing. Trying to replicate that for a minute. Oh, you don't fuck. Uh, yeah, there we go. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> oh god. I want to see that glitch so bad. I wish I could have made that happen. And this is a 12-minute video. Oh, I love this game. Click the app to sprint. <laughs> Spark? Spark, what are you doing? Fuck out. Sprint that again, Nick. You're flying into space. Yeah, it's it's. There's some good ones. Some of them are just the game's decisions, like the the oh, fucking. A long time that I help me. <laughs> just the way the game is set up, like the physics are he's, like weird. It's problem. It's problem. You must come. We see for your real problem. Why you pick? All right. Anyway, I have another one. It's called Grand Theft Enterprise. I forget. Reg sent it to me. Yeah, Reg also maybe had a picture that he sent me that I I, I think I'll show you guys. So just gaze upon this magnificent creation. <laughs> I think the best part of this picture is by far this O'Brien's face <laughs> when he realizes that he can't join in. This is Grand Theft Enterprise. Choose character. <laughs> All right. After a long day, you and your wife relax at home. Suddenly, a Jem'Hadar soldier appears and kidnaps your wife. You try your best to stop him, but they teleport away. Once you fire your weapon, security shows up. They think you killed your wife. You are arrested under suspicion of murder. Oh my sweet god. Amazing. Captain Picard? Starfleet has insufficient evidence to keep you confined. Here's your tricorder and phaser back. Personally, I don't think you deserve to wear that uniform. Get out of my sight. Thanks, Captain. <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> Rick, what have you done? What is this shit? Oh my god. How do I get out of here? Okay. The Yogatata's face. The Enterprise is undergoing repairs. Most of the crew is on vacation. No unauthorized personnel may transport aboard. As a security pr precaution, I've deactivated the transporter pad. That's not the Enterprise D. That is a different Enterprise. That's like the Enterprise like C. Which is not the Enterprise that's in the Next Generation show, because I am a huge fucking nerd and I know these things. <sighs> what is Picard still doing here? Picard's not busy? Does he have nothing better to do? I give up. I am a coward. Why don't you stab me through my heart, asshole? Uh, Paradise Squares? It's another minigame. This better gameplay than the previous Star Trek game I played. Come on. Come on, you bastard. Come on, you bastard.
Come on. So close. Come on. Yeah. It's one skill point. What the hell do you collect skill points for? Orion Dance Club. Oh, God, I knew this was going to happen. What am I playing? What am I doing with my life? Also, why are these people dressed like modern humans? Like a modern contemporary styles? Here, have some luck points. Thanks. <laughs> okay. I'm starting to think that the luck point... Okay, I can get as many luck points as I want. Oh, wait, no, I can't. <laughs> hey, you! Stop right there. <laughs> oh, yes. I told you this was better than the last game I played. Riker's here? Do I know you? Do me a favor and don't tell the captain you saw me here. You look distraught, Riker. Jesus. You have illegally boarded a Federation vessel. You are ordered to transport back to the station immediately. No. Try visiting engineer. <laughs> She's just looking at me. Like, with disgust. That I would do such a thing. I like to think that my character is Miles O'Brien. And he's had a bad day. And he's like, fuck this, I'm out. I'm stealing the Enterprise. I want to be useful. A lot of cars. You want to leave the space station. <laughs> is that Sulu? <laughs> he's not even alive at this time! You've committed an act of treason. Turn back now or we will fire. He's right. He's in the Enterprise. For some reason, he's in the Enterprise E. Which is a more advanced ship than Sulu flew. I, why do I know this? Oh, God. I shouldn't know any of this. You think you could survive out here by yourself? This may be the best Star Trek game I've ever played. <laughs> 